Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of The DVC Show, coming to you from the Bob Varley Studio in Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Pete Werner, joined at the table this week by my good friends, Amy Krieger. Hello. Paul Krieger. Hey, everybody. And Derek DeBoer. Hey, now. Along with our producer, Mr. John Sakari. Hello, everyone. And uh, just a reminder, this show, along with all of our DVC content, brought to you by the world of DVC, which includes DVC Resale Market. Dot com where you can pick up a great resale contract from a wonderful agent like Mr. Derek DeBoer. <laughs> uh, DBCRentalStore.com, where you can rent out your points or rent points to try DBC before you buy. You'll also save a lot of money over going through Disney Direct. And, of course, MoneraFinancial.com, where you can finance your DBC purchase. So that, those are the companies that make up the world of DVC. Now, this week, we're going to talk about the DVC experience on a Disney Cruise Line vacation. And uh, I believe you guys, did you bring some uh, props? Nope, totally forgot. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> great show, everybody. Yeah, that was a great show. Sorry. <laughs> we'll send you some pictures, Panda. <laughs> well... You've recently done your first Disney cruise. Yep. So uh, Amy and I were on the four-night uh, podcast cruise on the Disney Dream. And this was our very first Disney Cruise Line experience. So we took in everything DCL. And of course, us being DVC nerds, uh, we wanted to sort of see what all there was to do um, that was Disney Vacation Club related too. And so um, it was it was pretty cool experience. Uh, not what it used to be, but... Uh, Overall, just had a wonderful time being on a Disney cruise for the first time, for sure. Yeah, and I honestly, like, this was our second cruise. We did a Royal Caribbean cruise in March, and we kind of, you know, got used to, like, wow, we really, we like cruising. And then we went on a Disney cruise, and it was just like, I'm just in love. Whole you different know? experience, isn't Yeah, it? <laughs> it's just the Disney difference. And I said this before in past shows, and it's just like you just feel so at home. You know, we felt that way with Vero and, and Alani, you know, when we're going other places that aren't Disney World or Disneyland. And this cruise ship was the same way. It was just an elevated experience from, you know, the stateroom host that like just organizes your stuff for you and wraps I your know, cords. Right? Like they didn't do that on the royal ship. And the, our servers gave us little puzzles at the end of dinner, which we had, you know, a ton of fun trying to figure those out with our group and just the music and the characters and the, the fireworks, you know, at, you know, in this ocean like that, just everything about it. I was just in awe. And so, you know, we also got the obviously we checked out, you know, what is it like to be a DVC member? on a cruise ship is there anything special um you know what is there obviously there's a little less than what there used to be because of you know cruising recently coming back and in some paired back experiences but we still felt like a little bit special you know for being dvc members um as soon as we got on the cruise and, and we had found our uh stateroom you know we had you know a big DVC magnet and and lanyards, you know, already waiting for us. Um, we had received a I call. I wish we could have seen what those look like. I Thanks, know, Bob. I know. And you know what? <laughs> They're like, they like come apart, but the, it looks really cool when it's together. And it, it took a lot of work to get it home in one piece. Like, it's the coolest looking magnet. We put it on our fridge. But we actually received a phone call from a DVC rep that was going to be on the ship like a week before our cruise and they were just kind of like welcoming us and you know we can't wait to see you aboard please stop by the dvc um, desk this is where we're located we have little gifts for you you know every single day and um when we got on the cruise and we went to that location um we we were talking with them and that girl heard my voice and she doesn't know us from the shows like like i that is very obvious and she was like, oh, I, I remember talking to you and this is this. And she remembered all these things. And she's like, I remember all my members I talked to. So it was just a little extra special that she remembered us. She remember she called us. You know, she was literally like just felt like she was looking forward to meeting all the members. And they also give that that little gifts out to, you know, resale direct. It, it does not matter or it did not matter on our sailing. And other people have confirmed it for me on their sailings. Also, they just want you to have the stuff. They do not care, you know, how you bought your your membership. Okay. I I just have 
This is all news to me. All the cruises I have been on, you know, ne- that has never happened for me. I have never what? gotten a DVC lanyard. I've never gotten a, oh my gosh. a magnet. Really? I've never gotten a phone call. Never once. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm like, really? They call you? Yeah. They call Yeah, we now, wondered why I Disney got, was calling one day. I got yeah. the stuff. I got the stuff because I, on the podcast cruise, I stopped by the desk yeah. and said, you know, effectively, what do I got to do to get this stuff? I mean, how many points do I need? <laughs> and a solid gold lanyard. So I don't know. And like, and my, my DVC login, my DCL login, mm-hmm. my, my Disney experience, all on the same email address. Like when I pull up my, my stuff on my Disney experience, it says, you know, annual pass holder, DVC. Mm-hmm. So I don't know why. I don't know. Yeah, you got you got I, the shaft. <laughs> no, it did. Another. It did come up as so our our guide is uh, Gib McCain, and so uh, is mine. Yeah, and so it did come up. I believe when they called, it does come up. It said Gib McCain because yeah, I had labeled hit like you when had he labeled had called like the us direct before. Line as, yeah, as I had labeled McCain, it, so. but it was uh, yeah. So that's just whatever number that they use. So yeah, I, yeah. I'm sad to hear that you I'm, didn't get. I'm the trying call. to remember the names. I know Christy was one of the uh, one I of the ladies. Think Tori, Tori was one of them. Was the one that remembered us. I'm so sorry if I forget that. I, yeah, I think that was her name. Uh, she remembered you and you forgot her. I know. I I looked at her. <laughs> I'm just really bad. I was a teacher for like 11 years, and so every year I would like work to learn. Like a hun- I had like. 120 something kids a year and i would try really hard to learn their names and it took me like a few weeks but then like new ones would come and i just think that like that 11 years of that in my brain is not good with names anymore i don't know <laughs> i'm terrible with it i have no i have no room to judge i am so bad with names oh my gosh faces i remember but names yeah but um, but the the you know the the stuff that they gave away. Did you get any of it? I I did when I went there and mm-hmm. said you know basically, you know, give me who do I need to talk <laughs> <Yeah>. to? <laughs> Stood at the desk, <clears throat> like mm-hmm. I'm seeing all these I'm seeing these DVC <laughs> magnets on doors. Mm-hmm. Lou, I can tell you it's it's actually very strange because I did work on the Disney Cruise Line with the Disney Vacation Club team for many 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 years, and it's a well oiled machine. So basically. It's a whole cruise department. So every cruise, they know exactly how many Disney Vacation Club members are going to be on the cruise, whether you pay cash for it or whether you use points for it or whether you use a combination of both. So there's teams of of people that that's their job is basically, you know, a week before the cruise, they will go through a printout and sheet to say, here's Paul and Amy are coming on the four night dream. Here's their phone. I just want to reach and I want to connect with them. In the old days, it used to be because the purpose of that call was to invite every member to the, uh, basically it's a member celebration that it would be take place at the exact time on mm-hmm. embarkation day. And it would be in the D lounge and you'd come and watch a presentation and we'd give away, you know, prizes and we do raffles for all kinds of cool things. That's where folks mm-hmm. would come and get, you know, lanyards and we'd give them magnets and all that stuff. So it's a, it's a well-oiled machine. Like I said, we know exactly well, all the state rooms. My, and we not exactly. Minus, well, minus like P. A, a slightly like rusty out. machine not when it comes exactly. to you. Exactly. <laughs> Which is so strange. Because, yeah, we, we would have that printout. And when we would yeah. get on board at the start of every cruise, so as people are still arriving, we'd normally get on the boats pretty early. We'd have the list of all the state rooms with all the members. And we'd say, okay, I'm going to cover all the members and put magnets on their door. So by the time you got there as a member, you go to your state room and you go, oh, look, they have a little welcome magnet. It was us covered in sweat running around every single deck of the ship. And some cruises would have now, hundreds know, and hundreds of members. Now you do it. know that the, uh, the doors on the concierge level, yes, they can't put magnets on those Correct. doors. Uh, those doors are different. It won't stick. We'd have to stick them in the fish extender. Yeah. <laughs> it's an excellent point. So yeah, you would go around and put the magnets on the door along with the invitation to come to the member celebration, which is at that certain time. So now I think it's just a way of kind of just, touching base because they just want that FaceTime with members because when you're on a boat, that's why I love selling it on the ship so much is because you have a, you have a captive audience and B members are the best spokespeople that you have for Disney vacation club for the most part. So you'd have folks that are learning about he looks the club. at me. You notice how he <laughs> looked at me for the most part. I members of the best. I think I've you done are, pretty yes. good. I think I've yes, done pretty you're good. You're amazing. You're amazing. 
But yeah, you'd, you'd want wow. members to be talking to people who are not members, right? And so they yeah. would sit there on the boat and they'd be sitting by the pool or they'd be sitting at their dinner, you know, party with them and talking about what is this club? What is this thing that you guys have and these lanyards and what is the club? I've, I've, I've heard about it. So we, Disney wants to take care of their members on a boat because they want people to go sit with that vacation guide to see what is this club and how does it work? Yeah, so, so we're, we're hearing some rumors that some of those events are coming back soon Good. so hopefully i mean they're, they're rumors for now but i i do think that because that is a big you know seller on the cruise and they yeah. obviously they can't be selling a whole lot right now with like almost no representation well, and definitely um you know the the wish is coming up very very quickly um and something i'm interested once you guys get on board and check it out is that they do have this very large dedicated spot that's marked off on the on the ship for disney vacation club so i'm wondering what that like that what that disney vacation club experience is going to be like on the wish because it looks like based off the size of the area that they've marked off on one of like the main decks like around the shopping and all of that that there's going to be a much more invested presence Mm. in that area whereas i mean previously the presentations were what like in the D lounge, yeah, yeah. D lounge and stuff like yeah. that. So it's probably uh, going to be our Matterport tours. In the- was, yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> 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 Just gonna say. <laughs> yeah. well, I drive basement yeah. part two. Yeah. It's going to be on the ship. <laughs> Maybe they'll use the ship ones too. Come down to deck one. <laughs> but the so the things they gave you, it wasn't anything earth shattering, but it was you know like a pin one day, a luggage tag. Another day. Do you remember the rest of them? Uh, there was like one of those drawstring backpacks one mm-hmm. day, which was which was pretty nice. Um, we things, we things that you've already had. Like yeah. so, um, they were definitely um, pushing the um, is it the pass it forward or I forget what it's called. Dream it forward. Dream it forward. Yeah, which is the uh, referral program. Yeah, the dream it forward referral program. So they were really um, you know pressing you as a member to make sure, uh, like you said, sort of share that with other people on the ship and stuff like that, and get your. Uh, we actually did do a dream it forward. We had some friends from back home in Wheeling recently um, that were looking to purchase. They talked to us, and so we gave them our referral code it saves them some money yeah so they say five hundred dollars which covered pretty much their closing cost yep. and then we got a hundred fifty dollar gift card which we used yeah. to go out to eat so i mean it is it's kind of a nice program um if you can you know if you find people to use it yeah but the other thing is is that just the the cast members that were the dvc cast members that were at that um that booth they were really great to talk to like yeah, we just had awesome. a lot of fun I, I did find the names. Uh, Tori, Blair, and Christy. I did know her name. See? (laughs) Tori. She's the one that remembered me. And so, yeah, she was very nice. So they were awesome. Good job. I'm so glad I didn't get that wrong. (laughs) But yeah, Tori, Blair, and Christy, shout out to you guys. You guys really made the experience, like, stopping by the booth extra special. Um, and they and gave so, us trivia. Yeah, like, we had, yeah, yeah, they gave us like a little. I know, little and I told them it was like question. regular Disney trivia, and I was like, okay, I want DVC trivia tomorrow, and they were like, okay, but then we we, we didn't have time to yeah, stop by that last. We night. We didn't make it so. back on the last night, um, but but yeah, so um, definitely a different experience overall than from what it used to be, but um, still. Um, super special uh, to be there. Um, and just again, you know, Amy and I, this was the podcast cruise. We booked this cruise direct through uh, Dreams Unlimited Travel. Um, but, you know, uh, we don't necessarily advocate using your points for a cruise. And I, I just wanted to get that that point across as well today. Um, it's a terrible, terrible use of your points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Right, right when you're on the boat. And we did a lot of cruises. And of course, when families come and sit down with you, the first thing that, that they want to know is, well, great, well, I, I can use a membership on a, on a cruise, right? Well, yeah. Great. So how much is this cruise like right now? And you're like, oh my God, you're on like the New Year's Eve fantasy cruise. It's like <laughs> 8 million points. <laughs> so it always had to come down to, yes, you can. But like you said, Pete, it's just not a good we, use of points. So you're playing this like shell game of like, well, if you take an infant and put them over here, and then if you book points on one, and if you have red hair over here, you could kind of move all the points around. Whereas you want to be able to like with the DVC resorts, it's always like, oh my God. It's the best use of your points is for the DVC resorts. This is yeah. how simple it is. So. so we actually looked up the uh, the point charts for that specific dream sailing that was the podcast cruise. And in doing the math, if we would rent our points, 
we could have taken that same cruise twice. Yeah. Uh, we could have gotten yeah. enough money to pay for that cruise twice. And also, like, we consider ourselves experts on Disney, but we didn't, we didn't know anything about Cruise Line. And having Elaine Edwards as our travel agent to yeah. just take care of things for us was just amazing. She's amazing, isn't she, she? She is. And she is, like, proactive, too. Like, she noticed a glitch on the site with checking in, and she called the night before to ensure that we'd be able to check in. Like, she is phenomenal. So get yourself a travel agent, rent your points out, use Dreams. You know, that's the way to go for DVC. Yep. And I'm not paying them to say that. No, we we know Elaine, we, and she's now one of our dear friends. But we know her because she was first and foremost our travel agent, and she was just phenomenal. And we just kind of grew a friendship from there. Yep. Yeah, like I said, I can't speak much to the DVC experience on the ships. I still can't believe that. I, I know. Never <laughs> once. Not a lanyard. <laughs> I had to go to the kiosk. I would have made you like a special customized bag <laughs> filled with like everything we have in the storage closet and like deliver it to your like that that's just crazy. I th- I thought so. When's your next cruise? I really want to see like how my next you're cruise, gonna it's the whole door. It's just I'm gonna on, be magnets. I'm on the christening cruise for the uh for the wish and then on the maiden voyage a few weeks later. But get, get ready to be swimming in magnets. <laughs> you're gonna need an extra suitcase for all <laughs> yeah. your DVC. Gear. Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, so I I wish I could say more yeah. about it. And you just did four. So what ha- happens is you'll have people do a three, and then they want to do a four. Then the next thing you do is you do a seven. Then the next thing you know, oh, you're on like cruise. a three week Panama Canal cruise because you love it so much. The you three slowly. night, the three night cruise is a gateway drug. Oh, it's too a gateway drug. Fast, too fast. And it happens. Yeah, you don't even bother unpacking because by the time, <laughs> by the time boat drill's done, you got to go. You got to go. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we did our placeholder, and so we want to do a seven, right? Yeah, we want to. Like, yeah, I think I think we'll use the placeholder for a seven for sure. Um, we've got the wish coming up in yeah. the fall, um, so that'll be another four night. But yeah, you definitely want more. Our first cruise ever was uh, three nights on Royal Caribbean, and that was just yeah, it's a tease. Like it, it's it's you go to sleep and you wake up and you're getting off. And well, it's as like, you know now, the Royal Caribbean experience is very different. Yeah, from the uh, yeah. Disney experience. It's just an entirely different. You've said it before. There's no better, I think, Disney experience. I, I don't think there's any better Disney vacation overall from start to finish than a Disney cruise. Because truly, and especially if you've been on another boat and then on a ship, and then if you go on a Disney he, ship. He keeps calling it a boat. <laughs> calling it a boat after all these years. Big but if boat. you do one and then go on Disney, that difference from the service to the food to the accommodations to the cleanliness to everything, it's just. It's hard to go to another cruise line. It really sure. is. Yeah. And I think it, it, I, I keep coming back to, you know, uh, people ask, like, why buy in the Disney Vacation Club and all of that? And, you know, it's uh, it, it's really you're you're prepaying for your future vacations. And this is one of those things so that, you know, maybe maybe your kids grow up someday. You don't want to go to Walt Disney World as much, but you've prepaid. You've got that. You've got that value in your points. I and mean, then you can take that value and go on cruises now or you can go to. Um, uh, do an ABD. Um, you know, you have so many options at your disposal, um, and you've already bought those points and bought into that, and and they have a very very good value associated with them. They really so. do, especially like as you said before, rent them out. Yep. And then take that money to pay for the cruise mm-hmm. and pay for the ABD. Mm-hmm. So much much better use of your points. Yeah. Much better use of your points. Okay. Well, there it is, folks. Uh, that's going to do it for this week's episode of our show. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next week with another edition of the DBC show. Have a great week.